Are you struggling to profile your Android application while running automated UI tests? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into how to export profiling data from Android Studio. And trust me, you won't want to miss this. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when you're trying to gather performance data, but the tools just don't seem to cooperate. Many developers face this challenge, especially when using Calabash for UI testing. Let's take a closer look at the specific question at hand. One user asked, how can I export profiling data from Android Monitor to an Excel-friendly format? They need to capture CPU load and time, but are unsure if Android Monitor is the right tool or if they should consider alternatives like TraceView. So, what's the deal with Android Monitor? It's a powerful tool for profiling, but exporting data can be tricky. Understanding how to navigate these tools will help you get the insights you need for your application. Stick around because at the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that can make your profiling process much smoother. To begin exporting profiling data from Android Studio, the user should first open the Android Profiler. This can be done by navigating to the bottom of the Android Studio window and selecting the Profiler tab. Next, the user needs to run their application while the profiler is active. This will allow the profiler to collect data on CPU usage and other metrics during the automated UI tests. Once the profiling session is complete, the user can export the data. To do this, they should click on the three vertical dots in the upper right corner of the profiler window and select Export. The user will then be prompted to choose a file format. For Excel compatibility, selecting a CSV format is recommended. This will allow the user to easily open the data in Excel. Finally, the user can open the exported CSV file in Excel. This will provide them with the CPU load percentage and the corresponding timestamps, fulfilling their requirements. Fun fact, did you know that profiling tools can sometimes feel like trying to find a needle in a haystack? But with the right approach, you can make it a breeze. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by another user involves using a .trace file to gather profiling data. You can generate a trace log by instrumenting your app, which provides valuable information. Once you have the .trace file, you can utilize dmtracedump to convert it into formats like HTML, PNG, or TXT. This allows for easier analysis of the profiling data. For visualizing the data, consider using tools to create call stacks or flame graphs. A helpful resource for this is available at a specific blog. Now, let's dive into a different answer from another user. This user points out that exporting Android Studio Profiler data to a text file isn't straightforward. Each profiler has its own export format. For example, the CPU profiler exports to a .trace file, while the memory profiler exports to .prof or .alloc files. You can access these files by recording your session and stopping it afterward. Once exported, you can open these files by dragging them into Android Studio or using tools like the Eclipse Memory Analyzer. Additionally, you can combine the .trace file with a tool called dmtracedump to convert it into formats like HTML, PNG, or TXT. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative approach shared by another user involves understanding the different formats for exporting profiling data from Android Studio. They mentioned that heap dumps are in .hprof format, while native sampled allocations and system trace recordings use the Profeto trace protocol buffer format. Additionally, C, C++ function recordings are in simple perfs perf.data format and Java method traces are in the art trace format. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always document your profiling process. This way, you can replicate successful tests and avoid the pitfalls of trial and error. And there you have it. You now know how to export profiling data from Android Studio. Remember, effective profiling is key to optimizing your application. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.